And before anybody says anything about, where's your armadillo? I'm sorry, but it's a bowling ball, okay? I don't give a fuck about pin up, pin down layouts. I drill all my balls the same though, but I proved a fucking point when I drilled my purple hammer. I drilled it right here on the fucking hammer. Literally about right here's the pin and I drilled it way the fuck over here. And I did that on my purple hammer and I used it with a long side of another purple hammer that was drilled right at the fucking pin and they did the same shit. It's all about how you throw it. In my opinion, bowling is all about your release and speed. That is it. It has nothing to do with how a fucking ball is drilled. Sorry, but I'm a firm believer in that. And I'm always going to believe that because I've thrown balls. I've even, I, we're just not going to get into that on this channel, but this channel and this ghetto shop, because this ain't no pro shop, because I ain't no fucking pro with this, but I've seen some pro shop people and if them pro shop people can do it, anybody can do it. Okay. Just saying. So this ghetto shop here, we don't give two fucking shits about pin up, pin down layouts and we don't use armadillas. We use two fucking pencils, and the way we do it, I, like I said, I drill all my bowling balls pretty much the same, so I'm going to mark right here where I'm going to fucking drill this bitch. I don't know if I can get this on camera, because I'm not a pro cameraman. We're using an iPhone up in this bitch, and it's all inverted, so my bad, because I'm having to use the front camera so I can see that I'm on the camera. If not, then I'm fucked, but I'm going to put one hole here. So I'm going to circle where I'm going to put one hole, okay? Okay, no, you know what? I'm going to move it down a little bit. I want to get... I want to make it look cool right next to the fucking 78D urethane logo. So I'm going to put it right here, which is just a little lower. And then I'm going to do... a The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to drill this out. And then after I drill it out, I'm going to take this pencil and I'm going to mark a straight line so where it's even. And then I'm going to take another line and draw a quarter of an inch gap because they will not warranty your ball if it's smaller than a quarter of an inch. And I am not a pro shop, so I always make sure I leave a quarter inch gap right here for all the little fucking warranty people. Just in case fucking balls crack. Because I'm sorry, Hammer. The MV Tour is my favorite ball ever. But every fucking MV Tour that I've had, the MV Tour, the MV Tour Extreme, the MV Tour Pearl, every single fucking one of them has cracked. I don't know what y'all did in that resin, but it has nothing to do with my drilling. That's all I gotta say, because there are thousands of people whose MV Tours have cracked. I don't know why. But Hammer has an amazing warranty service, and they warranty it for me, so... Yeah, we want to keep a quarter of an inch gap in between the two holes. But the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to line this fuck that circle I just made, the center of that circle. I'm going to line it straight to the fucking ceiling, like straight to the ceiling. I wish I could get a better camera angle. I need one of those cameras that attach to my head, but whatever. We're going to point that hose directly straight up and down. And then we're going to take this little fucker. If you want to know how I made my jig, by the way, I made a YouTube video on that somewhere. <laughs> it's on my channel somewhere. I don't know where, but it's there. So we're going to point that directly to the sky. And I drill my balls different than most two-handed bowlers. I bowl with one hand, but I drill, I don't use a thumb. But I bowl with one hand. So I drill my balls like a two-handed ball. And I don't use two inserts on both fingers. I like one insert and then one smooth hole. And the reason why is because this finger, I don't like the way a grip feels inside my ring finger. So I only use one. All right, after we get our jig tightened so the ball is not going to move, I'm going to show you all how I do my second hole. But we use a fucking Milwaukee drill. I don't use a drill press. Drill presses are for fucking pussies that don't have any kind of steady hands. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. If I had a drill press, I'd use it, but I don't have one. So, get I get my drill bits from Republic. They're legit drill bits. I'm not that ghetto. 
So, and I've already marked them. I marked this one at three inches just because I bought the Troublemaker and they recommend drilling it at three inches. So I already have it marked at three inches. I don't have to go down to three inches on every ball. So I leave a little, I don't know, quarter inch gap or so. But once we get our jig set and we know our ball's not gonna move, we go to that center of that hole that we marked. The center of that hole is pointing directly straight up. Okay, and the way I'm gonna do my pitch is I'm gonna cock my hand to the left because you want your you want your holes to be drilled like this. You don't want them to be straight down. So I'm gonna cock my arm just a hair to the side, and that's gonna give the pitch I want. And like I said, the first hole doesn't matter. Where I mean, as long as it's in the center of that fucking dot, you're golden. But I like to shift all my weight like i'm doing exercise and i can show y'all how i like to do my fucking weight y'all can see from afar this is how i like to do my shit don't look at my gray sweatpants ladies all right here we go you ready i like to put this here right in the center i like to stride and then i like to push down make sure the drill spin in the right direction and have at it Sand it up. We're gonna come back to the ball. I don't think I can flip it. Fuck. You can see how smooth my hole is. <laughs> it's real smooth, ladies. I don't know if it's as smooth as yours, but it's a smooth hole. <laughs> Anyways, um, I always I don't know why I do this. This is stupid, but I'm gonna use this fucking old one to just test fit. But I like to stick a grip in there to make sure that I got the pitch right. And the way you can tell if you got your pitch right is if one corner of your grip is sticking up. Just one. This side should be flush. The inner side should be flush. And the outside should be sticking up. And that's how I know I did my pitch right. If I didn't do my pitch right, <laughs> I'm just saying uh, you might get a cracked ball eventually. All right. Now what I do, how I mark my second hole I'm sorry, guys. Like I said, I don't use a fucking armadillo because I don't give a fuck. I eyeball it, man. I've been hanging pictures, building shit. I mean, go look at my Instagram. I've built tons of stuff, drilled tons of stuff. And the way I look at it is if I can drill your mom, she's pretty difficult, then I can drill a bowling ball. Just saying. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. Just kidding. Uh, but no. You put your drill bit up. You always want to keep them protected. So I keep mine in here so they don't get fucking rusty or anything. Because I do keep them in my garage. And then I keep them wrapped up inside of a toolbox. All right. Now I'm going to use my 5.8. Because I use a 3 4 or 21.32 with a 3 4 inch insert. And then my other finger, I do 5.8, which is still kind of small. But I'm going to show you guys my sanding rig and my sanding, the little sanding rig that I made. I wish I could find a longer fucking shaft, but that <laughs> sounds so weird. But I made this. Ugh, sorry, I crammed it in a toolbox, so it's kind of bent. But I took this, I took a washer, and then I did that. And then I took another washer, and then that. But this right here isn't long enough, but it works for what I need it for. Because I just need it to bevel the edge. And then 
I don't drill my second hole, my ring finger, I don't drill it all the way as deep as I do the one with the insert, because the insert has to go super deep. The other one, I drill maybe a little more than half of that, if that, and then this will fit down in there and I can sand it out and bore it out a little bit more, which we'll get to that in a second. But I was gonna show you guys how I mark my second hole. The second hole that I use, I take my two pencils. Uh, dude, I really need to get a new camera set up. Like, no joke. Especially if I'm going to keep making these stupid videos that nobody gives a fuck about. But the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to take this. I like to take a pencil and stick it in between here. Because this pencil is about a quarter of an inch. But I like to take my pencil and then... <laughs> Mark it this way, okay? Which, to me, that's a little too fucking fat, so I'll fix that in a minute. But we only use Brunswick pencils around here. We ain't a Storm person. I'm just kidding. I don't even know Storm makes that shit. They might. Who knows? But I like to take this, and then I like to get the line. If I can get the line directly on the bottom of that, directly on the bottom of that hole, I'll make a straight line there. And that's how I know that that's where I want the fucking drill bit to end. And then I'm going to move this fucking quarter inch over just a hair. Not much. But yeah, that's where we're going to put our fucking second hole. And I don't even fucking make a circle or anything. That's literally where it's going to go. And I will take this. And I'm going to put this bitch straight up and down, like so. And once I get it where I want it, we're going to put our fucking cover back on our jig. I accidentally moved the ball. All right. Now we're going to tighten our jig back down. And then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. And then I will drill my second hole. So this is what it looks like. I make my mark. So that's a little, that's about a quarter of an inch from this hole to this hole, roughly, give or take. And then I made my straight line across here. So I don't want my drill bit to go underneath this line or above this line. I need that drill bit to go right there or my finger will be off, just a hair. Which, in my opinion, if I am off, which I don't like to be because I don't like the way it feels, but if I am off, this finger will be farther farther forward or farther back if I do fuck up. And if it's farther back, then I can flip I can flip the ball more. It gives me more flip, but on this finger instead of this finger, if that makes sense. And I like all my weight to be on my middle finger instead of this finger. Because this is a weak finger. I don't know if anybody knows that, but this is a weaker finger. That's why you can't hold it up all the way. <laughs> And it's super loose. I'm just kidding. It's not, I don't know if it's a weaker finger, but I prefer to bowl with my middle finger. So yeah, once we get our shit lined up, you're going to take your drill bit. The way I do it is I make sure this drill bit is even with that line and then even with this line. And once I have that, and they are literally on par for each other, like perfect. Then I'm gonna do my little stance again. I'm not gonna move the camera because I'm in position already. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna tilt the drill bit just a hair, like we talked about prior. And also like we talked about prior, I don't go as deep with that. Now I'm gonna take a shot back. I'm gonna vacuum up all this orange mix. It's kind of cool how the inside of a 78D is orange. Keeping that hammer tradition. The black with the orange. my pinky in there and loosen up some of that. 
some of that dust. There we go. It is stuck in the hole. All right. Now, before I go any farther, I'm going to put this drill bit up. I also wanted to let everybody know that um, I'm going to be doing a review on this ball. It's a 78D. I know nothing about it. A lot of people are saying it's a lot less hooky than the purple. Me personally, I wasn't really a fan of the purple. Um, I'm more a fan of the pink pro-urethane. I love my pink pro-urethane. I have picked up the craziest splits with the pink pro-urethane. It's one of my favorite split conversion spare balls. I used to use it like all the time in tournaments and everything. I won second place in a, I don't know what the fuck it was. It was a, it was a tournament. I won second place in it with that ball. And it's a really good fucking ball, the pink urethane pearl. So I'm going to be doing a comparison with the pink urethane pearl, Black Widow, rather than the purple hammer, because I think the pink is better. But I'm going to be doing a comparison with that, and I will let you guys know. But now we're going to be beveling the edges of the 78D. So see how I was telling you it's kind of too small for my finger? But when I drill it, or when I drill it, when I sand it all down with my handmade Dremel with the sandpaper bit. And yes, these are legit sandpaper bits. These came from, I believe, Bowler's Mart. It was either Bowler's Mart. Where did I get these from? I have a whole bag of them somewhere. Ah, uh, they don't say. But I'm pretty sure they came from Bowler's Mart. Yeah, there was a hundred of them. It's 120 grit. Um, and I was thinking about sanding this ball down with 120, but I'm going to wait and see how it performs before I even touch the surface. But I bought this ball for the Pro Shot Tournament. This They do a Pro Shot Tournament every week here, and I, that's why I bought this. So first things first is we're going to sand out the one that we're going to be putting insert in. I'm not sanding it out completely. I just want to give it some surface for the glue to adhere to, and I want uh to smooth out the edges because that also prevents cracking i'm always super careful with this because this is not an actual sandpaper so you want to be directly in the center because if you're not you're going to get a wonky ass hole and i don't want that so i do I, I do it really slow and i stay in the center I'm gonna do it a little more. Sweet, all right, now my favorite hole, the one that my ring finger is gonna go in, I love sanding this one up, because it doesn't matter. Like, I can bore it out, because my finger barely fits in it, so. I can sand this hoe out, and what's cool is the washer that I use is almost the same size as that hole. And I have drilled about 400 balls now in my ghetto shop, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting really good at this shit. Just saying, just saying. I feel like I'm becoming a master at my own craft. All right, here's the x-rated part. I'm about to show you my holes. These are my fucking holes, guys. Those are my holes. This one's super fucking smooth. Like, that feels so good. Like, my finger fits in it perfectly. It's just, it's a really good fucking hole, man. <laughs> I like the way it feels. I like putting my fingers in there. It's nice. All right, so now what we're going to do is this. I'm going to do it. I don't like putting pink grips in bowling balls that I don't know if I'm going to keep because in all honesty, most of the time I send them fucking back because I don't like them or something happens, but I'm going to put a pink grip in this bitch for the fuck of it. Just because I like putting my fingers in pink holes and all the bowling balls that I keep 
the fucking new VOD. I got the new VOD pre-ordered. It should be here. I wish I was staffed already so I could already have it. Ugh. But like I, like I said in one of my last videos, they don't care about that anymore, man. It doesn't matter how hard you work at bowling or any of that shit. All they care about is social media presence. So if you guys could blow this video up, that'd be cool. So I would like to get, I'd like to get recognized in the bowling community and like get some fans, man, because I would literally love, love to do honest bowling ball reviews for you guys. Because that's my biggest pet peeve. These people are out just trying to sell products and they're not telling people. And bowling balls ain't cheap, man. So my biggest pet peeve is they're not telling people like, hey, this ball is not good for low rev bowlers or this ball is not good for this. And they're throwing them on dry ass lanes. So they hook a lot. So they look really good. And that's like my biggest pet peeve. Like it's all, it's all publicity to sell products. And I get it. You're a company and you want to sell products. But bowling balls are expensive, and most bowlers are poor. <laughs> Not even going to lie. Um, and they're spending their hard-earned money on a bowling ball. So I don't want somebody to waste their money on a new bowling ball just because it's new. I want them to spend their money on a bowling ball that's going to help them progress in the sport. You know what I mean? So that's my biggest pet peeve when it comes to these bowling ball companies. And these pr not even the company. It's not the company's fault, but... It's, it's the pros and all these people that are out like getting, oh, we're staffed now. We're giving you free products. Go out here and make videos with these products and make them look cool so people buy them. And I don't want to do that. Like, I want to be an honest guy and I want to sell products that fit the person. I don't want to just push products on people and steal people's money and then fucking not be able to pay a light bill or mortgage because they went out and bought bowling balls. And yeah, it's, I don't know. I'm just, I'm going to stay out of that subject, but that's, that's my goal though. My goal is to help these bowling ball companies sell products to people that fit what they need the ball to do. <sighs> Put a little too much glue on that. You want to be careful too, putting too much glue, because if you put too much glue, that also can lead to cracking of your ball, so... That's why I blow it all the way down to the hole. I don't know if y'all saw that. No, that's another thing. That's another reason why I don't go to pro shops too, by the way, guys. Because these pro shops, they don't give a fuck about your insert. They just fucking stick that bitch in there and glue it. And they don't care. I like mine to be flush. So the way I do it is the part that's flat, I'll go ahead and glue that side down first. Let it dry. And then the part that sticks up, the way I do it is I pull back with my finger. Or you can use a screwdriver, either way. Do a drop of glue, blow it to the bottom, stick it in there. But once it's in there, push down on it so it's flush. Push down on it so it's flush and then hold it. <clears throat> I'm really hoping I'm gonna like this ball. I think I will, but compared to the pink, I don't know. I don't know, man, it's gonna be and there we have it, guys. We have a drilled 78D. Now let's get to the alley. I bowl league tonight. So, uh, hopefully gonna bowl a 750 with this bitch. I don't know though, because we use a basic ass house shot and everybody's saying this is horrible on a house shot. They're not saying it's horrible because they're trying to sell it, but you can tell they're trying to hint at that. They're trying to say, wait, these are for pros and they need to be used on a sport shot or shorter patterns, blah, blah, blah. But I'll see how I like it. It's probably gonna be straight as fuck. And if it is, I'm gonna hit it with some 120. So there's that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be comparing this ball with the pink hammer urethane. And I will let you guys know how I feel about it. Also a tip guys, after you get a ball professionally drilled or ghetto drilled, however you want, the minute you get done drilling it, store your ball on its side. The reason why I say that is because if you store it like this, if you store it with the holes up, you just drilled fresh holes into a ball and the resin is still curing. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Resin takes forever to cure properly. So... 
whenever you have your fingers, finger holes pointing up, the problem is the weight of the fucking core is pulling down on the ball. And when you just drill two fresh holes in that, the weight can cause the ball to split. Or if you put the finger holes on the bottom, all the weight's pushing down on those and it can cause the ball to split. So I highly recommend keeping your bowling ball. If you have a hammer and it's freshly drilled and they drilled it somewhere close to the pin, point it with the hammer side, like the hammer, point it with the hammer side up. And that's how I keep my ball stored for just for a few days at least. And because that's just how I do it. I'll keep it stored like that in my bag for a few days. Even after I get done bowling with it, I'll put it back in my bag like that. Just so the ball and all the fucking resin or whatever the fuck. Just, it, in my head, it just makes sense. But it keeps the fucking resin, I don't know, it keeps it drying until the ball is used to the fucking holes being in it. If that makes sense to anybody, it probably don't make sense to nobody. Just like fucking... I like mine to be five by four by three by two. I like my ball to be drilled. Uh, it's like all that fucking mathematic shit don't make sense to me. So this probably don't make sense to you. But I've worked with resin. I've never worked with bowling balls. I've never built a bowling ball. But I have worked with resin and resin projects for a really long fucking time. Art pieces. Um, all sorts of shit with resin. So I know how resin works a little bit. I'm not a pro at it, but... I know how it works just a little bit. Enough to enough to get myself in trouble, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's the 78D, guys. And I'm going to show it now. Just wanted to give some hints on how to store your bowling ball. Just to prevent it from cracking, if you care. But I'm out, guys. Um, I'm going to go throw this, and I will continue it in either this video or the next video. Peace.